Are you ready for March Madness? I know I am. I am most definitely ready for March Madness. But wait a minute. This year, I'm including UCCC. Say what? I'm glad you asked. That's right. It's UCCC's March Madness. Where for the entire month of March, registration is only $35. So go online to unitedcovenantchurches.org and register for the National Convocation today. Our mission is to educate, emancipate, and empower people to ultimately make a difference in our personal lives and community. Therefore, we are inviting you to join us for an inspiring discussion series on the topic, Finding and Understanding Your Purpose in God's Kingdom during our Monday Night Bible Class. We will be discussing the book, In Pursuit of Purpose, The Key to Personal Fulfillment by Miles Monroe and touching on topics such as, Who am I? Where am I from? A question of your heritage. Why am I here? A question of your purpose. What can I do? A question of your potential. Where am I going? A question of your destiny. Class dates are March 11th, 18th, and 25th. April 1st, 8th, 15th, and 29th, and May 6th and 13th. These classes are open to Everyone eager to learn and grow in Christian faith. New converts, seasoned believers, new members, clergy, teachers, ministry members, and leaders. All are invited and encouraged to participate. See you there on Monday night at 7.30 p.m. right here in the sanctuary. Being the best me that I can be, Women's Conference 2019, the year of the woman. From March the 21st through the 24th, all roads lead here to the Tabernacle of Praise. Thursday night, we will be in worship and praise with none other than Bishop Jackie McCullough as our guest speaker. And all are welcome. Resorted to a Santa Claus religion, a religion that gives you and blesses you, makes you successful, but when you go home at night, you're suicidal and tormented. Jump in church and go home and you're depressed and on antidepressant drug because we left out the main subject that Jesus died and he died for a wretch like me and he died so that I can have a right to call him Abba Father. The 22nd will be a day of interactive workshops at the Top Civic Center and will be led by Pastor Leslie Christie, Pastor Zulima Cox, Lady Delicia Garns, Minister Anorisa Harris, Sister Nicole Grant, Sister Annalisa Collins, and Minister Carolyn Rayside. Saturday the 23rd, we will also be at the Top Civic Center for an Empowered Women Award Luncheon, where we will be honoring Pastor Aurelia Jamat, Mrs. Xiomara Flowers, Miss Dora Nurse, Sister Lyra Petrie, and Minister Carolyn Rayside. Your all-inclusive registration price of $180 will cover Friday's workshops, breakfast, lunch, and Saturday's award luncheon. Last but certainly not least, Bishop Maureen Davis is our guest speaker for both services on Sunday, March the 20th. If you put your trust in me, he said you won't go lack it. You're going to be blessed. Eat the fruit of your labor. I'll bless you on your job. I'll bless you with your work. Riches will be in your house. Everything you need, God shall provide. You won't have suggested attire for Sunday service is white or off-white and everyone is invited to join the DOC's executive council in sowing a $100 seed. See anyone now standing or register online at topcathedral.org. This is a COT announcement. The Circle of Trust is proud to sponsor this year's fundraiser Coin Drive 2019, changing the face of a community. All we're asking is that everyone bring in their spare change. That's it. That's the project. 
bring in your coin jar, your piggy bank, converted water jug, whatever it is that you use to collect coins. And we're asking that you make an investment into the Capital Campaign Debt Relief Project. All you have to do is bring it in and we'll do the rest. All the proceeds will go toward the church and the debt relief project as we erect the new edifice. The official start will be on March 24th and will run until April 28th. Once the drive starts, you'll have six Sundays to turn in your coins. Every person will get credit for their coin bank that they submitted. Once the drive is completed and the coin banks have been counted, you receive more detailed instructions next week. Tabernacle, we've got our game plan. So after service, dust off your coin jars and get ready to show Brooklyn and beyond that on 324, we mean business and we are ready to change the face of a community. Dear child. Dear child. Dear child. The reason we have to have this talk is because you are a black child in America. We live in a society that is geared that we do not succeed. It is put together, it is constructed in such a way that we fail. And you have to be greater than all of that. I love you. I believe in you. And I believe that others just like you who hold on to their light together you all will change the world. When black parents have to give the talk. New Seasons, Marriage and Family Therapy, and City of Hope Project presents Conversations of Our Times. Will the children that leave you in the morning return to you in the evening? What should our children know? What should our children be told? Families, communities, and congregations, let's join together and save our children. Join us on Sunday, March 24th at 3.30 p.m. Hosted at the City of Hope Greater St. Mary Church. Bring everyone you can. Let's talk. We know it hurts to see your child struggle in school and feel like you can't do anything about it. We know you do whatever it takes to prepare your child for a life of success. And we know if money was no issue, you would enroll your child in the best tutoring program possible. And Top Development Corporation, in partnership with Councilman Jermani Williams, has the solution. That's free tutoring for your child. The Academic Enhancement Program 2019 is here, offering academic and homework help with certified teachers for grades 3, 4, and 5 in subjects English, Language Arts, and Mathematics on Thursdays from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. here at Top Cathedral, 1274 Utica Avenue on the second floor. Starting Thursday, March 28th, ending June 6th. On-site registration is a requirement to participate and opens Thursday, March 21st. For more information, please call 718-451-1020. Together, we can get your child back on track. Matthew 2540 says, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. The Missions Evangelism Ministry would like you to know about our community soup kitchen that will be held on Saturday, March 30th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come out to help spread the good news and share good food. You'll never know how much of an impact you'll have or whose day you'll make unless you help. The Northeastern Region presents You See to You. United Comes to You. Ecclesiastes 3 and 1 says, To everything there is a new season and a time for every purpose under the heaven. Saints, it is a new season. It is a time for manifestations. Join us on Sunday, March 31st with speaker Bishop James R. Chambers from the City of Hope Greater St. Mary Church. Host pastor Bishop Reggie L. Hall of Progressives Faith Ministries and Bishop Eric S. McMillan, Northeastern Region Diocesan. 
Are you ready for the season of manifestations? Well, don't miss Sunday, March 31st at 4 p.m. at Progressive's Faith Ministries, 303 Maplewood Avenue, Clifton, New Jersey. See you there. If you are interested in attending this fellowship and desire transportation, please see Pastor Da Silva to give him your name immediately following today's service. Some of these uh, teachings that you have is going to revolutionize people's lives. Uh, for instance, uh, tell me something involved with these ancient Jewish secrets. Explain something to me. You know, a very simple thing that I found that Jewish people naturally do is they segregate their money into different jars, whereas most people take all their money and just put it in one jar. And, the, and when they do that, they spend their money first, pay all their bills, and then they try to tithe or give or invest, and there's nothing left. You know what Jewish people usually do? Of course you do. You're Jewish. What they do is they have separate jars. So a Jewish father, for example, teaching his son would say, Son, son don't put all your money in one jar. If I were to give you $10 a week, Take one dollar for the Lord's tithe. Learn how to manage His money. Another dollar for offering. Take another dollar for savings. Take two dollars for investments and the hopes of multiplication. Then take five dollars for spending. Son, so first you tithe, you give, you save, invest, and spend the rest. You know what that little Jewish boy learns to do? To what? take his money and invest it in something that will multiply. I heard of one uh, young boy who just simply lent money to other kids in his school. And you know what happened? Those kids would pay him back double what he lent them. And his money grew and grew and grew. You know, at the end of high school, uh, this is actually one young man that I know. He actually bought his first house for cash when he graduated from high school. Do you know all the other kids around, you know what they did? They had incurred a credit card debt by the time they graduated from high school.